And all of my love, all of my love resides in Paris. traveling to uh, Maryland to pick up my aunt that someone kept for almost two years and we're finally going to pick it up um, but um, we're gonna start in Washington DC and just have uh, a visit the new African-American uh, Museum I'm looking forward to that because it'll be the first time that we actually see it we actually we go in it the Pentagon this is the building where all the um, I don't even want to say it but this is the military building of the United States it's called the Pentagon that's what one of the buildings that was attacked actual on 9-11 uh, oh there's the Institute of Peace we've never been there I didn't know America had an Institute of Peace <laughs> anyway so uh, and you can see school kids are here uh, to see the museum. There's the Museum of Peace I was talking about. And there are the school kids. Um, Pennsylvania Avenue. This is where the White House is, by the way, but we haven't gotten there yet. Uh oh, one way or another, we can go past the White House. Really, Clyde? Yeah. So we cannot get past the White House. This yeah, is 1700 uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm a police. I was hoping to. Maybe we can stop somewhere and go check it out. Uh, early. but we parked we found parking finally oh my gosh finding parking in washington dc is a nightmare especially because uh there's a parade but anyway we came up here didn't know where we were but i just found out we are at the university of the potomac the university basically allows for parking which is nice because they get to make money but anyway I wasn't sure where we were because we saw classes as we were coming up and a ton of uh, elevators. <sighs> nope. What the hell? Let's go one now. <laughs> Let's try B4 and B5. Press both of them.
Okay, so we are uh, we finally found parking, finally found the main street, and we are now walking to the African American Museum uh, uh, of History and and Culture, which is a new museum here in Washington DC. How long? And we're six supposed blocks? to walk six blocks, so I don't know how long that's going to take us. We need to know minutes. where we park. We park in H. H yes. Yeah, H, H street. street. Okay. Anyway, I will see you guys there. museums here part of the Smithsonian I think so it's free to get in okay, so this is the Department of Commerce building and look at how I mean how well built it is Ronald Reagan building, the customs building. I don't know why they gave him. There's such beautiful architecture actually in Washington DC. But there's the museum where we're going. Uh, that brown building over there. Let me see if you can see. That brown building over there. That's the museum. There's a huge discussion as to why Lincoln even uh, freed the slaves. That he was up, oh, he was really trying to save the Union and the the South depended so much on slavery. So to punish the South, he freed the slaves. That anyway, that's the history lesson right there. Yep. In fact, there are words that he used to prove that he really wasn't interested in freeing the slaves. Okay, so we are finally inside the museum. We haven't seen anything yet. We almost turned around because yeah. guess what? We did not have any tickets. And fortunately, Some good we, Samaritan yeah, had somebody asked. We asked, and somebody gave us tickets, so we could. We almost uh, drove here for nothing. So it turns out that I think Walmart sponsored the Welcome Center. So there's a Walmart uh, welcome, welcome center. center over there. And I just was like, WTF. And <laughs> the woman heard me and she was like, it's all right. It's all right. Anyway, it's why is right. Walmart sponsoring history? Because they are good. Come on now. They have money. I know, right? Anyway. Community galleries. I guess we can start at the top. I salute you, Mama Africa. No tears, no more, just Mama. She come on, Mama Africa. To go to Maryland, so it's gonna be like we're gonna be really quick. Um, touch and go. Touch and go. You know, like just to appreciate a little bit of our history. I mean, African American history. It's my history now. It's yeah, my African history now. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay, so this is the artist talking about. What were you saying? <laughs> anyway, someone has no clue. <laughs> okay, so this is the artist talking about. But this year, it is absolutely beautiful. This is very well done, actually. And you see the detail? It's really beautiful. This 
would be worth 40 million. Uh, no. There's something well, that was so, million. that was like, <laughs> there was, uh, okay, there was an art piece similar to this that was sold for 40 million bucks, dollars, US dollars. So I think I would pay for this over the other one. God, the only dark dot of the earth, not when the Kale Tani could relieve not of your wrath, but to share in your grief. Do need to return the 1950s from a good release. Look at Chenza bondage, and after care quick relief, after your seas, you don't want to see your own material of your sons, Congo, and Sierra Leone. What can that fight your own materials? Kisha blood, diamonds, seek a letter, mad iron rule. The Muga Bez in Zimbabwe, Mobutu, na Idi Amin, and I hope you know who gave them guns, mommy, the same people. I mean, this is Valar. Because we are civil rights movement. Okay, so I wanted to show you this behind me. See that? This guy here was an Australian, and recently there was an article about him that said that he he said he wished he had raised his fist. Hope you can see him. Uh, his name is. Uh, Peter Norman, Tommy Smith and John Carlos are the two guys at the back. They were protesting during the Olympic. So this is powerful. Also it means that even if you're scared you have to raise your voice. Okay, so we were just saying that this is the history that should be taught in the schools rather than what we, uh, what our children the today are taught. That they are learning in uh, school. You know, like there's not enough, you know, like truth in what in the history that's being taught in schools, and kids have to come to museums in order to learn about that. They should be learning this in school, not just you know like uh, MLK. They should be learning about Muhammad Ali. They should be learning about uh, Malcolm X, and they, I mean not just the good things that he said but everything that he said because a there's a lot of truth in what they said that is you know like whitewashed in our history yeah. okay so we're finally done with the tour and we're gonna make our way to Maryland now. It was absolutely moving, actually, and I recommend that everybody comes and visit. Uh, absolutely beautiful, well, well done. Um, and I mean, just the cultural aspect of it, the civil rights aspect of it. Uh, huh? Oh, that is nice, actually. That, huh? Do you wanna get it? No? Went the wrong direction. Thank you to Mr. Directionless here. Yeah. He took us the wrong way and I listened to him. But anyway, we have to go back. We had a two blocks or four blocks in our walk. Plus, but <laughs> plus another six, so we're gonna work more than ten blocks just on one here. direction. listen to a man when he says this way you go the other way okay yep. <laughs> because i i knew we were going the wrong direction but i was like oh maybe he knows what he's talking about wrong wrong, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> so but we anyway. should have taken the bikes i know speaking. maybe we should get them now no, it's too late time. i know <laughs> Okay, so how do we forget where we parked? So we've been looking for our car with a dead <coughs> phone. I took a picture, right? I didn't take a mental picture. I took a picture of my, with my phone, but my phone was dead. So we couldn't find where we parked, but we looked at every floor, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah, this parking lot is not that easy to access. Yeah, it's not easy to navigate to begin with because it's got two sides. So we kept on getting off on the wrong side. But anyway, we found our car now. So we are now on our way to Maryland right now. Hopefully, it's not a long drive because that would kind of mess things up a little. But anyway, so 
and this is the famous K Street. Okay, K Street is where lobbyists yeah. uh, for political organizations uh, stay, and this is probably the most corrupt street in the United States. Uh, remember last time we came here. I remember last time we came here, we had lunch here and uh, we walked around, which was really nice. I think the waterfront is not too far from here, but um, this is the famous K Street. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to the camera. Um, lobbyists basically are people who lobby on behalf of interest groups, okay? And they buy politicians uh, through political donations um and so that politicians make rulings favorable to them um not rulings but uh they laws. vote yeah they vote for laws that are favorable to their interests so but anyway i thought i should share that So we finally made it to Maryland. It was wonderful to meet Antoinette in person. I first met Antoinette online on Facebook and we've since become like family. I met her beautiful family and her beautiful daughter Zani um, and uh, we had a wonderful time actually just chatting uh, from what was supposed to be one hour to a four hour chat. We enjoyed a wonderful cheesecake and milk tart. And so I finally got my artwork back, which was really nice because it's been almost two years. Um, and I was grateful for that. And on our way back from Maryland, we went back to Washington DC and uh, we actually saw Trump International Hotel and I thought that was funny, so I decided to include it here in this uh, video. Okay. I'm no dummy, I guess. I guess 56. Okay, so we decided to stop and have some dinner at this place called what? The Ocean Ocean. Uh, but I mean we just know it. we didn't know anything about it, but it's pretty nice actually. Finished dinner and we are about to drive back. Five hour drive, right? Four and a half, four and a half hour drive. Four hours. Four hours. And we're just gonna fall asleep somewhere in a rest area. <laughs> I don't doubt that we're too full, but the food was awesome. One of the best seafood places we've been to in the United States. So we're just waiting for our car from the valet parking and so what um, I know we're going to fall asleep it's already like 10 30 p.m. and we're still in Washington DC don't know if you can see the city behind me and on this side they have the best seafood I've heard in a long time when Washington DC has better seafood than Cape Town. That's amazing.